okay, just one thing before you even get started with the interview. Like, can you just give it up for the visuals? I mean, you the good. video. Mm. The video is so therapeutic. My dad is catching me on TV, and I just go heal. You know, <laughs> <laughs> after a long day. Yeah, it's so peaceful. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know. Mm. Anyway, like I told you before, we took that break. Now mm. today's guest. Now where do we even start? I told you he is an award-winning singer, a song writer. And uh, he's also a self-taught percussionist. He's a guitarist, mm. holds a bachelor's degree in communication. And mm. you know the craziest thing? Mm. He turned down a chance, actually a scholarship chance at Buckley to work on his music in Kenya. And ladies and gentlemen, if you still don't know who I'm talking about, mm -hmm. give it up for Tattoo Shani. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Uh huh, you're yeah, doing great. I'm doing amazing. Like, so humble. Thank you so much for coming through. Oh, so you know, with the raw now, it's not easy to get people to leave their houses and just I like go you. for interviews and stuff. So, super humble for you, you know, just coming through. All right, so first things first, uh, you are in the music. Okay. Is it industry or business? You know, the, I, I was told there's a difference. So, are you in the business or the industry? Uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in the business. You're in the business. I like, I like, I like saying it like that because I think when you think of it as a business, mm -hmm. that's how you make a living. That's how you make a living for music. Because yeah. other people, by the way, you've met those people who ask you like, so apart from music, what else do you do? Because they know, exactly. like music doesn't say. Exactly. They just assume like you, you have wrong, to have yeah. something else. Yeah. So, but those guys who know wrong. <laughs> that music doesn't pay. Those are so misled. Those are so lost. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so so is music really what you just wanted to do from day one? You're just like, yo, mom, dad, me, just take me to music school. I'll focus in school. You're just like, I want to do music. Was that the uh, case for you? Because we, we hear people when someone names up in na two months, my parents told me I was just like humming. This is a new thing you can't <laughs> <laughs> You know? <laughs> no, is that the same case for you? I'm like, how did that happen no, for you? No, no, not at all. Um, oh. I wrote my first song when I was 28. Right. Ah. So Ooh. I've always, oh. in fact, the, I think the inspiring part of my story is I always tell people that I'm a late bloomer. Yeah. And that if your thing is your thing, then it's never too late to start something. It's never mm. too late. So yeah. up until I was 28, mm -hmm. really, up until, actually up until 2000 and, uh, let's see, 2011, mm. I had never had aspirations of being a musician. I'd never considered myself to be a musician. Mm. Uh, I'm the first in my family to pursue music, uh, yeah, okay. both, both sides, you know. What? Right. So there was no way for my parents to even know what someone is supposed to look like right. who can be a potential <laughs> potential musician you know what By i mean so, yeah. Yeah. yeah all right and 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 just still on that speaking of parents you turning down bucky i bet they were on your neck they're like are you crazy oh. this music thing this is the chance of a lifetime like what are you doing were they on your neck like that or were they just okay with it like it's your life yeah. you're grown uh, yeah, they were tired they were tired yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's choke out, that's like, yeah. You know, like okay, so this guy's at first it was like okay, this is just a hobby. Then he's hustled enough. Now he's gotten a, uh, no, a, a accepted into this prestigious university. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah, okay. And so then it's like okay, cool. Way. All right, we're, we're happy with that because yeah. education is key. Not mm -hmm. bad, not bad. And then I'm just like, hey, yeah, mom, dad, uh, yeah, about I'm that, this. I'm just not feeling it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that is I can imagine more. the disappointment. I'm sure the dad was asking their mother, Unum to Unum to <laughs> <laughs> Do you know African parents are like that? When you're a failure yeah. or you do something they don't they like, they're like, like no, like they, they'll be like, you're your mom's son. They'll yeah. be like, Unum to yeah. But when you do something great, yeah. they're like, you see, that is my son. You see? <laughs> yeah, that's what you guys know. <laughs> yeah, that, that can be like that. That's a problem. That's tough. But I mean, I built a lot of character. I tell a lot of people that Whatever you do, you're always going to get opposition. A lot of times, it's from yeah. people that you care about right. and people who aren't. They're doing. They're doing it out of love. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's the crazy yeah. thing. Is yeah, that yeah, true, 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 They true. feel like they're protecting you and trying to take care of you. And you that's know. the best way for them to show yeah. how. Yes. That's how you know they care. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. So. Um, after that, like now, this being a rock show, right? And you're here as Tetu Shani. Some guys out there, I don't even know you have some rock songs. Uh, most people actually describe you as. Um, an Afro pop artist. Yeah. Is that right? Or how can you describe your sound? So, one of the hardest things is the answer to that question. How <laughs> do you describe your sound? Yeah. And for a long time, I was really trying to figure out okay, okay, what's, what's my sound? What's my sound? But I've actually finally settled on something. Yeah. I do alternative pop rock. Yeah. Right. Because Jana actually, I like that. Because Jana was talking to another DJ and I was like, wait, Kesho, I'm having to shiny over. I was like, 
dude, we listen to that guy. Which aspect of it? Listen to him nicely. But after going through your songs, you are just bumming out. He's like, ah, this is a, a feel of pop rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah pop yeah. rock and so, then world music. So I was like, yeah, yeah Tamu, yeah. you're yeah. It's yeah. easy. All the time, it's Yeah, easy. yeah. Alternative pop rock? Is that what it is? Alternative pop rock. Yeah. Yeah. And the craziest thing about this is that actually in this industry, people have always, okay, they've not been able to place me, but what a lot of people don't know is that my roots are all rock. I've just been telling that. Literally. to all gigs. Yeah. Bro, he's been playing all gigs. In high school, my favorite song was that sweater song by Weezer. Bro, I went to Campo. You know, I was in a place called Vancouver, which is the West Coast of Canada, and just listening to the sounds of that region of course yeah. there was also that Seattle uh, sound that yeah. was still going you know I was listening to uh, 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 mm. uh, uh, we were always meant for so much more yeah, what's the name uh, uh, no, no, uh, Akina Nani Switch uh, su no, no. Switch yeah, Foot Switch, switch Foot, <laughs> switch foot. <laughs> yeah. uh, shout out to Sam Roberts there's an amazing yeah. Canadian band yeah. called Sam Roberts if you guys have never oh, listened to them, them they're amazing Sam Robites yeah. amazing Sam Robert. that's the one our segment I, I don't think they're really hard though yeah. No, yeah, it's more yeah it's yeah. more uh, mm. it's probably more like yeah like soft rock yeah I think I've all right. Amazing. Now, Tetu, mm. another thing um, I, I understand, you're an authentic <laughs> singer. And by authentical men that mm. you listen to him, he actually understands music. Mm. Because he's also an instrumentalist. Still, yeah. We talked about gu he's a guitarist, he's a, a percussionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So other than just writing music and singing, he actually understands the art of music. Mm -hmm. So there's that. You put in the work and you put in the, off uh, the effort. Mm -hmm. And more like most of our rock artists right here in Kenya. Yeah, it's more but then, like a rock Yeah, thing, yeah. They, they do a lot. They do a lot. Yeah, you find a rock who doesn't can't, can't play an instrument you know all yeah. of them play mm -hmm. other instruments mm -hmm. aside from just singing yeah. you know so you put on all that work you're being authentic to yourself mm -hmm. but then do you ever feel the pressure to like um, just do music just to fit in do you ever feel that pressure because oh, like yeah. uh, you know you're doing you're working hard mm -hmm. you put you're putting in the effort you're doing more than some people mm -hmm. and then they just come in with that hit song and now mm -hmm. everybody knows their name and who they are but then you look at their music you're like yo yeah. wait Actually, yeah. i do yeah. much more i do much more yeah. 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 So, yeah. so do you feel like you being true to yourself and doing what you love do you ever feel the pressure to just like um change what you're doing to do something different that is mainstream just because you want to Cell. Do you ever feel that? I feel it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Every single day. Let me just be honest. Like yeah. I feel it every single day. Mm -hmm. And I always joke with people that when you see me here like a musician, literally I've quit music like every week. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to ask week. that. Every yeah, week you know? I've quit music. I'm just like, forget this. You know, you're going to you burn your guitar. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, yes. But, you know, um, what always keeps me going um, uh, with the kind of music that I create and the authenticity attached to it is that Almost every day, there's someone who reaches out to me and tells me how my music has touched yeah, them. Dolph, yeah, 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 or something. And they're so. talking some real deep stuff. Like yeah. I was, I was going through depression, mm -hmm. and there was this song that I was listening to, and it would cheer me. It, up. Yeah. I was, I was in this rough place, and I'd feel inspired by Africa's Sun, and be like, No, 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 I can't forget this. I'm Africa's Sun. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the stuff that always brings me back. You know, exactly. uh, when you're when you're a niche musician, you can uh, sometimes feel bad. You're like, Okay, why am I not getting YouTube views? Why am I not getting this kind of support for ABCD123? Right. And you know, comparison is a real thing. But I think mm. what keeps me grounded is to think of like, you know, the beautiful fans. Mm, the fans. Awesome. Literally have names. You know, sometimes yeah. we talk yeah. about fans like they're they metrics. Don't they're yeah. <laughs> like they're not human beings. Yeah, it's not a thing for us because it's just that one person, those two yeah. guys. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. The people exactly. you need exactly. to hire. Exactly. Right. You change that life, you're Yeah, cool. true, 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 true. Mm. And also another thing, now, you know, First, actually, that's one in two questions. First of all, how has COVID affected you personally as an artist? And uh, question number two, before COVID, I was following you closely. Uh, we met last year, actually, for yeah, the first time. Yeah, at the yeah. awards, the Rock Awards. At the yeah. awards, yeah. 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 He, the uh, he actually yeah? presented... Dude, hey, uh, yeah. Dude, are you high? <laughs> where, oh, at the awards. No, uh, was. Was the next That's where we then met. We had a chat like for, for 15 minutes. I know, I know bro, we did. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think he probably remembers <laughs> me. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. I, I, I wish, he probably I remembers wish. me because maybe I hosted it. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so, that's where we met. Yeah. And during that time, I started following you closely <laughs> and I realized you have this thing called Journey to a Thousand. Mm -hmm. And it was really picking up. So mm -hmm. tell us about Journey to a Thousand for those guys who are not following you closely. And then yeah. did it stop because of COVID? Is that one of the ways it has affected you as an artist or what's happening? So Journey to 1000 was a concert series yeah. um, that I started uh, based on a problem that I identified in the, in the Kenyan music scene, which was this. I noticed that there are a few celebs, mm -hmm. not too many, but there are some celebs, but that they don't really have a real fan base. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I know people who can get 300,000 views on a YouTube video but cannot bring 50 people to a show. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Aha, that's when I true. See, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So okay, just still yeah. on that, let me just cut you short. You'll see an artist, a Kenyan artist, or even just a celeb, two million followers, they go live, and 30 people are 30, 30, 30 people, so, like, 33 can the sana. You know. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too high. Uh, but it's true. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> like, we have to like accept that reality before we can change it. Right. It's, a sad reality, it's a sad reality. And mm -hmm. what that means is that mm -hmm. I realize that celebrity mm -hmm. is distance yeah mm -hmm. true distance though doesn't pay the bills exactly human beings pay the bills mm -hmm. especially when you're a creative mm -hmm. so then i began to realize okay wait a minute i need to build my following uh, especially live so yeah. i was like all right i'm gonna do four concerts in 2020 <laughs> 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 You're hearing how I was talking before this year, man. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I'm going to do four concerts in 2020 with the hopes of getting a thousand people at The Alchemist by November. Right. Ooh, that was huge. So but it, it was possible. It, yeah, because uh, we did possible. the first edition and uh, 300 people came through. <laughs> then yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. 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 Then Corona happened uh, and edition two was no cancelled. So, I mean, this is real stuff, man. Right. Like, no, yeah, these yeah. are real livelihoods that have been affected. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. It's Some crazy. Of us two are Euro, four Imagine. Three, all right. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Look at that. <laughs> I feel you, bro. <laughs> right. Now, the reason Tetu is here, actually, guys, he has an EP out. If you haven't checked it out, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you have to be checking that out. He's going to be telling us where we can find that. But mm -hmm. talk about, let's talk about your EP. Like, um, sure. The reason why mm -hmm. I actually had to talk about that, because it featured some rock songs that I really, really like. Actually, on the EP, I like two really nice songs. The first one was You Don't Know. That one, I was yeah. just like jamming to it. It actually <laughs> spoke to me. The video, oh, the okay. visuals, I was just checking it out, and I'm like, uh -huh. I can't relate to this. Yeah. yeah. At, at that point of my life, I was just like, I can relate to this. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the EP and uh, uh, and why you finally decided to do that sound, the rock sound that can be actually identified as rock. Great question. I uh, The EP came about, I was deep in season three of Breaking Bad. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I had never watched it, and so I've been just, you know, catching up yeah, on it. Whatever. Guys, uh -huh. And then I saw a lot of similarities between Breaking Bad and the monotony and all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. And the kinds of things that I was experiencing, you know, des a desert sort of yeah. environment kind of thing. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, okay. You know, uh, I began to, all of a sudden, a sound began to kind of craft itself inside of my mind. Um, but really the catalyst was, I, I did a, I used to do a, a, a live two times a week called the Tetu and Tugi show. Ah, uh, and Tugi. And so on Lama. the second one on, on Thursday, mm. it's the songwriting <coughs> session called uh, Writer's Block. And so I experimented with this model of literally starting a song from scratch. Yeah. And then the audience helps me write the song. Mm -hmm. So uh, I remember I was messing around on the guitar before the show and I got the right chord progression for Don't Know Me at all. Yeah. Well, okay. And then literally guys helped me write it. And as I was writing it or getting their ideas and writing it, I began to realize, wait a minute, what I'm doing right now is I've changed my songwriting approach. Normally I write for other people mm -hmm. so that they're encouraged. I wrote this album for me. For you. For you. That's for deep. me. That's yeah. Because I was that's going actually, through some stuff. Yeah. And that's a crazy mm -hmm. thing that if you actually are authentic about how you're feeling, mm -hmm. That resonates with people. Truth yourself. True. You're really yourself. Yeah. Like you, you wrote it for yourself, mm. but at the same time, you're <coughs> uh, there are actually other people you're representing. Exactly. So that's really good. You're making mm. music not just for other people, but you're also thinking about yourself. That's so That's good. Now, you've featured other artists before, like uh, some artists even in the mainstream media, the likes of Mayonde and stuff. I, shout out to Mayonde, actually. Like Sage. her, Mayoyo, yeah? Now, in the rock scene, do you have anyone in particular you would want to work with, or are you just open to working with anyone? Do you even have oh. favorites? Do you even have favorites in the team? You know, um, I do. I do. I, one thing that has kind of bugged me over the years is that uh, rock bands in Kenya have short lifespans. Yeah. yeah that's true. So there's bands that I love, like <coughs> Robin Mustache had a band called. Uh, no, 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 Claymore Project. Claymore Project. Yeah. With George, I think yeah, Big Guy so George. Crazy, and, yeah, exactly. Bass on bass. Yeah, Tamu, uh, Bro, you yeah. know, like, I that listen to some of their yeah. stuff. I love it. The song was cool. Right? Yeah. And then there was that other video where it's like, it's in a room and it's spinning uh, around by Dove Slim. That was Dove Slim. Slim. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, but I'm happy to say, so actually, demo. me and Rish have already begun a conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
yeah. You had it here first. Yes, so you had it here first. That's why you had news yeah. first. Yeah. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. So keep keep uh, keep your eyes open. There's gonna be something uh, coming. So That's gonna be amazing. Yeah. You know this, yeah. uh, I've heard you talk of Tugi. You said Tugi, yeah? Yes, Tugi Mlamba. Tugi yeah. was a rocker. Tugi is still a rocker. Just <laughs> <laughs> some. Okay, no. You had an argument some time back. I yeah. you guys must have ditched us. Now it's time I've heard about him. You're bringing yeah. him very yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. That's really interesting. I mean, actually, the cool he's thing so with Tugi Mlamba, he's one of the best guitarists in this country when it comes to rock. Even the the problem is that for him, major. artists aren't writing rock material. Yeah, that's a thing. One of the things that I'm trying to do, bro, is I would love to bring rock back into Kenya. Yeah, we, we still like in a Kimeto brothers. They come back. <laughs> you know, like in a you, all of all them. Those guys, they just all there, man. All right. And they're all rockers. Mm-hmm. That's time I like that. Now, another thing mm-hmm. people don't know, probably maybe some of you know, is that Tetu is actually well traveled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born here, went oh. to I don't know which country, yeah. Zambia, like then the States, you know. and like he's Zambia been Zambia everywhere. As you know. He's as literally as really traveled. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him taking all the credit. <laughs> but here's the thing: Look, how 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 can you compare like different countries you've been to? How can you even compare that to Kenya? Is there any relation? Relation? Are they related? in any way are we far behind do you have some catching up to do and maybe you can even name the countries you've been to no yeah. question in a chocha right so i've moved around a lot because of my my dad's work when i was growing up he worked mm. for an ngo called world vision ah. and so he'd be posted like in zambia zambia what mauritania all this kind of stuff but you know like honestly truly what they say east to west home is best like yeah. I've, I've been everywhere, but I love, love, love Nairobi. I love Kenya. Mm. Mm. What I love is that Kenya is such a young country. Mm. It's got such a creative energy. Mm. Like our strength isn't even really in corporate stuff. Like it is all in the creativity that we have. Right. And, and we're also open-minded. Please understand that when Nigerians are re- releasing music, they are targeting Nairobi, Kenya mm-hmm. with yes. their campaigns. I don't know if yeah, you guys true. know. Yeah, true, true, true. That's true. Yeah. We have a reputation, maybe apart mm. from Cape Town, Nairobi has a reputation of being one of the most eclectic mm. cities in, in Africa, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I love it here, and, and I'm so grateful that, that, that I had the opportunity actually to launch my career right back, right right back in at home. Right in Kenya. Kenya. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm so grateful. I, I love my country so much. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. awesome. And of all those countries, um, you've, you've been in different venues. You've done two eyes even. You've <laughs> won a wise. Like, you've accomplished a lot. So what can you say has been your highlight, really? Like, our... Uh, What's the, first of all, what's, what's been your favorite venue to perform at yeah. and what's been the highlight for you in your short career? Because he started at 28 and he's like 32 or 3, yeah, I guess. Five so year career. I started oh, 20, five years. 15 officially. Oh, all right. Yeah. So you're five years. Oh, but you've done a lot in five years, yeah. right? Yeah, you've done a lot. It's, 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 it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So, so what's favorite been your, venue? Yeah, favorite venue and yeah. the highlights highlight. so far. Yeah. Favorite venue for me? Was Choices by Richard Road. Hey. Our, our, Chui, our let me tell you, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Chui. I, super I, 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 I used to love it, bro. I wouldn't even leave my house with anyone. Uh-huh. I would go myself. Yeah. I would leave Riruta, Solo. drive all the way to Inda, uh-huh. by Richard Road, yeah. and just the vibe was, you know, yeah. you walk down that corridor and there's all those greats. The yeah. 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 Bro, and then it was like small. And, what did they change that place? Yeah. Yeah. Just so sudden. The way he's saying it, you know, mm. he's performed at so many venues. I thought he's going to be, oh, Nyege Nyege. You know that? Ah, Festival, really? Nyege Nyege, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he says no. choices. I'm no, like, yo, yeah, yeah. who are you even? It history, was yeah. a vibe. It had such history. Yeah, I, was, history. I really love the Alchemist. The Alchemist mm-hmm. has, has been a home for me for mm-hmm. a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Peng and the whole yeah, team. Yeah, and the uh, but one of my favorite moments literally was that journey to 1000 first show. Yeah. Because people don't understand how hard it is to put on your own show. And bro, when that you're there on stage and people are singing your songs, song, you're just like every single one of them is there because of you, not because of Koroga Festival, so not because of Blankets and yeah. Wine. That was such a powerful offers, moment. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That was, yeah but you've you performed at so yeah, many that. venues and mm. we are so proud of him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and oh. we want yeah. more rock music. More yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and you have much. much. He, yes. he actually has much out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be getting one, by the way. I'm going to be getting uh, okay. at least one t-shirt. Oh. Initial too, yeah. yeah so yeah, okay. tell us about your merchandise, where is it available, and your music as well. Where can people find that? Great. So uh, my music is available wherever it is that you uh, <laughs> listen to music. Everywhere. It is everywhere. <laughs> if you are a Bandcamp person, oh yeah, my. it's over there. It's on YouTube. It's on Boomplay. It's on Spotify. SoundCloud, Spotify. Apple Music. Shout out to everyone using VPNs. VPNs, <laughs> <Yeah>. Spotify. <laughs> Uh, Apple Music, yeah. you know. 
<laughs> SoundCloud. <laughs> this is your life. And uh, uh, for merchandise, really, um, I like to keep everything I do personal. Right. So for merchandise, I would just love for people to DM me and say, hey, I'd like a T-shirt. I'll give you my number, yeah. you send me your money, and I send you the T-shirt. It's that Don't simple. As simple yeah. as that. As simple as that. Yeah. Just like <laughs> that. You see, uh, uh, this is actually a Kenyan rock band T-shirt. They're called Seeds of Datura. Oh, yeah. And we just want to wear more local stuff. Shout mm. out to Wine Duvi, Mazel. You've all made me realize that, yo, before we wear these international, we need to support our own. So yes, thank yes, you yes. so much, Mazel, to you for coming here. We honor. have to play your song. Mm -hmm. The one, the son of uh, their son, the Africa, son Africa of Africa. Africa, son. Africa, yes, Africa, Africa, son. Africa, son, that yeah. one. And Empower. And the way he made it on Empower, mm -hmm. I still don't know. <laughs> yeah. But you're making us me, proud, Mazel. But you, you, know, you know Empower, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one, there were just like 100 artists from Kenya. Yeah, and he yeah, made it yeah. so that was some rock, really really it's yeah it's, rock it's a rock again. thing he knows music so <laughs> you know yeah. but thank you so much for coming through it's been fun so we're gonna thank go you. play your song yeah. then come back and play you guys our top five at five right yeah. keep it here